You know the saying, another day, another dollar? Well, today for me, it was another day, another $226 at Trader Joe's. I'm Natasha with Natasha's List, and today I'm to Trader Joe's. I'm gonna go through and show you guys the new items I got, but also some household essentials and some staples. So please make sure you like and subscribe to my channel. That helps me out a lot, and let's jump on in. Okay, I'm gonna scoop some of these bags over because it is just kind of claustrophobic. Um, green chili chicken bowl. We're not even gonna hesitate. We're just gonna jump right on in. Um, this is brand new. I need to adjust this. This, this is brand new from Trader Joe's and it's speaking my language because just yesterday I was at Chipotle and I kind of built this, except it, I would have added black beans to it, but I'm so hungry and excited because this is such an easy, thing to make in the microwave. Although I opened my microwave and it appears, yesterday my cleaners came and I think they were cleaning a bit heavy handed and they broke a flap and then the microwave wasn't working. Um, and that happens, you know, sometimes things break and you just get them fixed, <laughs> like my fridge, which I get my new fridge coming soon guys, I'm very excited. Mmm. Mmm. Wow, if you like green green chili, which is really popular, I believe in New Mexico, the green chili, that is phenomenal. Wow. One bowl, 320 calories, 22 grams of protein. This is absolutely delicious. Mm. I could just stand here and eat this this whole entire time. It's in the freezer section. Um, I had the weirdest experience in Trader Joe's today. While I was wandering around, I kept finding whole cookies, like whole freshly baked cookies with bites out of them, different places in Trader Joe's. So I bumped into Daniel. I said, Daniel, what's going on with the cookies? And he said, uh, oh, they're in the back. Someone brought them. I was like, they're not in the back, but I guess some of the employees are stocking and they're like forgetting they're setting their cookies down, but somehow I found them all. I thought it was like a treasure hunt, treasure, treasure, <laughs> treasure hunt. Um, I'm also really excited. Atlantic salmon with lemon herb butter. It is back. It was gone for a while. So we're going to make these for dinner tonight. This stuff is so, so good. Um, it is Norwegian farm-raised salmon, which is the highest quality salmon you can get. Um, I did a lot of posts on this. I did a lot of research because I used to be freaked out by farm-raised salmon. And I learned not all farm-raised salmon are the same. The color added is actually the color that they put in their food and they finish the salmon off with, which is similar to what the salmon get their color from in the wild. It's the food that they eat in the wild that gets them their color. Same thing, they're getting the color from the food that they eat. Um, and it's just really high quality. Check out, go on Google, research Norwegian farm-raised salmon. You would wanna live there. If you were a salmon, it's like vacationing for a salmon. Um, vegetable pad thai, these are absolutely excellent. I found myself like really heavy into the uh, freezer section today. Sometimes that happens. Oh my gosh, and then I made the best dinner last night. I don't know if you follow my Instagram page, but last night, and it should still be on my stories if you're watching this right now, live. Um, I got the japache, cooked it. Well, first what I did was I got the rainbow trout that comes frozen, also a really good deal. I cooked it with the green goddess seasoning. I've made a reel on how to do that, it's super simple. And then I cooked this after I cooked the fish in the same pan, had it together, and it was delicious. So I'm gonna revisit it again. That's why I got two of them. They're so good. Um, oven roasted chicken breast, this is for sam salmon. This is for Simon, um, for his sandwiches. I wanna eat all of that right now. There's the third one. You guys, it is summer and I'm excited because I got some nectarines. Nectarines are in season, so are peaches, which I got those too, but you have to wait to get them out. And then I did go like, I rolled the, rolled the dice and I knew these chicken, these green chili chicken bowls were gonna be fire, so I bought a couple. Like how, how could it not be good, right? Cheddar cheese, chili, green, ch green chili with cheddar cheese, my goodness. And then this is brand new. This is grilled chimichurri thigh chicken skewers. Chicken is trending at, um, at Trader Joe's right now. I was thinking Chick-fil-A and then I was thinking about the cows on the signs that are always like, eat more chicken. Um, well, we are at Trader Joe's right now. Green, ch wait, chicken thigh skewers, grilled chimichurri. So it's boneless, skinless chicken thigh. There's water, olive oil. You guys will love that. They do finish it with a, it looks like a dash of canola oil. If you're unfamiliar with reading ingredients, um, 
they put them in like the first ingredient is always what's the most and then when you get to the end that's what's at the very end of it jeff you're gonna have to cut this out because my instagram is says it's reconnecting hold on hi guys okay so we're back yeah so um they put it in order of most like if it's chicken and the first ingredient that's what the most that's what is the most prevalent ingredient and then the last one is what there's less of so canola oil is at the end which means they pretty much just finished it with canola oil but i'm not a food scientist so i don't know why they do that i just can tell you that beginning to end um these are awesome relax oh my gosh i i feel like these are one of those drinks um the pulp culture that the more you have it, the more you crave it. Um, it's kind of like when you start drinking coffee as a kid, uh, as, as a child. I started in high school, which probably wasn't good. The Frappuccinos from Starbucks. Well, not like every day. It was like a weekend treat. But anyways, you start to, you get a taste for it and then you just like crave it. That's why I feel like these are. Um, they kind of have like, because there's no sugar added and it's fermented, they've got like a sour taste. So if you like sour beers, um, just that sour, like, Heart taste which I love I love dry wines I love these um, these ones are really really good and the relax is now Simon and I's favorite so check them out and they've got superfood mushroom um, adaptogens you don't taste it it's just adaptogens um, which are good for your body dealing with stress hundred calories zero grams of sugar 4.9 percent alcohol big hit I, I absolutely love those I love them so much I invested in the company. So the fact they're in Trader Joe's made me really happy. Um, I picked up some eggs for Simon. I got him six because before I left, you guys would be so proud. I did a fridge inventory. Check the random things. That way I didn't double up. I'm trying to just be better at that because in the past, I've, I'll, sometimes I double up and then the fridge gets too full and then everyone's stressed. Um, Gluten-free tortillas made with quinoa flour. Oh my God. This weekend I made a breakfast sandwich and I... Like, I tried to make a gordita like crunch wrap, and I think I need to rewatch a video on how to do that. Like a breakfast crunch wrap. I just, there's a way to fold it, and I just, I don't quite know how to do that properly. Um, organic romaine hearts. These last quite a while, and you've seen the trick where you can, like, I think you put them in water and they can, like, grow. I haven't tried that with these. This one's trying to escape. It's coming out of the bag. Um, if you can see this over here, this is my. Favorite plant I got at Trader Joe's last weekend and it opens and closes depending on the time of day so like as the sun sets you see its little like arms go up it's leaves I call them arms and I was gonna move it to a different place in the house but I like it so much because it's like has a personality <laughs> it stays in the room with me all day um, I picked up some marinated artichokes on the go these are delicious I now like to keep them in the fridge someone recommended it and they're just they're great and they kind of like, as a snack, they're really easy to get into. So you kind of can make a, a healthier snacking choice when you get in a mood to snack. It's just easy to grab it, rip it, and take those in. And they're, they're good. Chicken breakfast sausage patties. I um, heard really, really good things about these. Again, chicken is trending for your dough. Um, and the ingredients are super clean. Chicken, and then there's sea salt, vinegar powder, water, dried sage leaves, parsley, ground thyme, red chili pepper flakes, crushed red pepper, black pepper, ground cloves, rosemary extract. I am so excited to remake a breakfast sandwich of those. Again, those will go in the freezer. And I got two of those because I know they're going to be good. You can read the ingredients on some things and be like, that's just going to be delicious. Mm. I picked up more um, daily facial sunscreen for Simon and I. He got so sunburned. So we were into like bodyboarding. So like right now my nails are a disaster because I have gel nails. These are my real length of my nails. But when you're, I think when you're in the salt water in the ocean, it lifts your, like the salt gets under and it like lifts your nails and then your nails kind of just, the gel just wants to come off. And it's like a really like, you kind of feel that it wants to come off and you, it's a whole thing. But anyways, why am I telling you the story? Okay, so yeah, so Simon and I went bodyboarding, which is destroying my nails. And um, he got so sunburned. So I got like a waterproof bucket hat and he didn't have one on, but we put zinc on our face, but it came off because we were in the ocean for two hours. And then he's like, <laughs> it looks like he's just like in a permanent state of embarrassment because his face is like bright red. It's calming down, but I had to get a more sunblock. This isn't necessarily the best sunblock to wear in the water. Um, it'll, it'll come off quickly. Get zinc or like a thicker one, but that's a good one for day to day. And it's a good primer for your makeup too because it sets and it's really smooth. Um, strawberry and jalapeno crisp. These are back. These are a seasonal item. Um, the crisps, they always have like a rotating crisp. 
and this is the seasonal one. A lot of people are asking me when these are gonna be back, so I bought them so you guys can see they are not now back. They're so nice, delicious. They're like a delicate little cracker. Um, I can't eat them because they have gluten, but I know Simon likes these, and we have our friend staying with us right now. And he'll pretty much eat whatever. Not picky. Okay, this bag. I'm gonna open this bag with scissors on the top. So I feel like if I don't, where are the scissors gone? There they are, they're hiding. Okay. I'll show you what these look like. They're literally like these little crisps. And these ones smell so delicious. I'm gonna just take a little nibble just so I can like have it. Mm. I wish I could eat all of these. You wanna put like a little bit of like like creamy goat cheese on it would be good. They are a bit spicy because of the jalapeno. Mm. But those will make any like summer cheese board you do or summer board of whatever you choose, delicious. I've been talking a lot about my homemade cold brew because it's, it's so good and you save so much money. Um, it does require quite a bit of ground beans and they have to be coarse. So I think I'm using like 130, six grams to 140 grams. Yes, I have a scale. I've been measuring it out because I just, I feel like a barista, <laughs> a cold brew barista, um, but it's nice and it's like, it's good and it wakes you up and it's smooth. I find like store-bought concentrate cold brew, it's just doesn't have that smooth finish I like. And when I add water, it's just not the same. So then I was going down the street and it's like seven, my cold brew I get is like cold brew with oat milk. It comes out to seven something, then you leave a tip, and then it's eight something, and then you get one from me and Simon, so then we're spending almost $20 on two cold brews, just not having it. This is like, I think this is five bucks or something, and I can make one, two, like two and a half big batches of cold brew, which is like six or seven servings of cold brew. So it's a great deal, and this coffee's phenomenal. The Honduras Colibri um, Small Lot Coffee, so, so, so good. I've been trying different ones and the one I bought before this was a bit too, it was like that Starbucks burnt taste. Um, I didn't like that as much, but this is super, super, super smooth. I had it this morning. It is delicious. So even if you wanna make hot coffee with it, I really, really, really enjoy this, this coffee. And here's the <coughs> almond beverage. I know I said oat, but like, I, oat or vanilla, almond beverage, whatever. Either or, um, brioche buns. Um, Simon and I had a long debate. So I got these for him for his sandwiches and then he refused. He said, no, those are hamburger buns. And I said, no, they're brioche buns. They're like, it literally says you can make splendid for sandwiches. And he said, no. But then he ate them this weekend with his buddy and they made breakfast sandwiches and that was acceptable. So I'm not sure what the rules are on this. So if you want to leave me a, a note, do you make hamburgers, sandwiches or breakfast sandwiches with this? I would, like, I can't have brioche buns, but they look delicious, so. <clears throat> I'm not gonna say how to do it, but that's how I do it. These are, these potato chips are so good. It's just potatoes, olive oil, and sea salt. Delicious. So you think Trader Joe's should have, like, a seven-layer dip, like, a side? I was thinking about chips, and I have seven-layer dip in the fridge from the co-op down the street, and I was just like, why doesn't Trader Joe's carry this? Non-dairy oat beverage. Oh, this one's gonna be good. These are my favorite. The mango cream bars are back for the summer. I'm gonna put them in the freezer right now because I feel like they're melting. And they're best when they keep their shape. They're best when they keep their shape. I pretty much also, I you know, like I'm a barista, cold brew barista. I am now also um, an ice cream shop because I have so much ice creams. But it, it literally, in this house, it goes from like, you're working on several tubs, so then they all kind of finish at the same time. Do you know what I mean? A couple go macro bars, those are good on the fly. For the pups, I picked them up salmon jerky, which I still want to see the salmon jerky for humans on the West Coast. I'm not sure where it is. I got a lot of FOMO. Ooh, this doesn't look like jerky. This is like, almost looks like a chicken tender. Phoebe wants it. Oh. Boo will pretty much eat whatever. Pot pie, she's upstairs. She doesn't like when I film, it like freaks her out. So she kind of stays upstairs till later. Um, this is one of the reasons the haul was so expensive. I had to get Dear Simon a new whiskey, him and his buddy. It's a guy thing, right? They just like love whiskey, so they went through a bottle of whiskey. Um, means it tastes good. I'm so oh, ice cream. Yes, we have to do this. 
Very chocolatey fudge and brownies. I did sample this a few weeks back, um, and I believe Simon liked it, non-dairy oat dessert. This one does have um, bits of brownie in it, but I'm gonna just take a nibble, because I love chocolate. I've also discovered I like chocolate processed with alkali, because whatever that process is, it makes the chocolate like super chocolatey. Like, it makes the flavor of chocolate better, because it's more chocolatey. And I don't know, does this do it? Oat base. Yes, cocoa processed with alkali. So that's, when you see that, you know, you know that's gonna be good. So it's already kind of started melting. Mm. It's so good. I love when they process it with alkali. I don't know if it's good for you or not, but I researched it and it brings out the chocolate flavor and I'm here for that. Mm. Oh, why is everything so good today? Mm -mm -mm. You know, that's just delicious. Chicken, green chili bowl. Those things are fire. Cilantro, I could put a couple bits on the, the bowl, but I'm gonna just not do that right now. Um, ginger lemon probiotic sparkling beverage. These are good mixers, they're also good on their own. A lemon and a lime. For dear Simon, a French loaf. He likes to make sandwich sandwiches with those, not the brioche buns, the sandwiches. And then I got this for me because the sun's finally out in LA. We have had a dark, dark winter and then a gloomy spring and everyone wanted to move. And then the sun came out, our forecast is the sunshine emoji every day this week, not one cloud, which means I'm gonna be in a good mood. I'm gonna want a margarita like maybe on Wednesday or Friday. And this limeade is so good to make margaritas with. Um, it's, it's literally, so it's essentially simple syrup with, which simple syrup is just essentially sugar cane and water and you boil it and that's how you not boil you simmer till it gets together and then you have simple syrup but that's pretty much what this is it's just filtered water sugar lime lemon juice so it's you can make a skinny margarita with this okay you just do maybe like one and a half shots of your favorite tequila or mezcal one or two ounces of this and then some soda water stir don't forget to put salt on your rim and that's it but this is really good they've also got a lemonade too um but that one that's a good one. That is a good one. Here are the peaches. Peach season is among us. Among us? Upon us. Upon us. Um, I'm sure I could go to Costco now that I'm a Costco member and get a lot of peaches, but then there's a rush to get them. I'm going to make it a mission to go to Costco because everyone is like, it's for bulk. I'm like, yeah, but there's some things that aren't necessarily in bulk or you can buy like pasta, you know, shelf stable things that actually save you a lot of money. English peas. I realize Tr Trader Joe's does not have frozen peas. They just have these peas. Isn't that crazy? You would think for sure frozen peas, but no, they don't. And last but not least, aloe vera gel for all of our sunburns. I did sunburn my leg. My leg's really sunburned. Um, I will be getting my Hallmobile, which is a little scooter, which is from Ride Cake at Ride, C-A-K-E, like this cake. Cake, and they're like the coolest coolest motorcycles like they make motorcycles electric motorcycles but then they have one model that's a scooter so you don't need an m1 license so i went there again because i'm so excited because i have no patience so i was just like test driving it for the hundredth time and then it was beautiful out and my my bare thigh was out i had shorts on and it got really sunburned and excitement but you know that's what happens when summer comes oh and i did get these these things are awesome these are called crest Badia, and they last forever. Like, yes, like once, like right now they're green because they're alive, but even when they die, they're just sticks with yellow balls and you can leave them in vases for a very long time. That's what I've been doing. Um, and I'm re-upping them because my last ones were like five months old and they're still going strong. So that's it. This is this week's Trader Joe's haul, $226, but it would have been less than 200 if I took out the alcohol. So right, because this is 30 and this is 13, so that's 43. So it would have been about 180 without the alcohol, which is pretty good for all of this food. And um, we got we got to dinner a couple times a week as well. So this is like a nice like for for lunches and dinners and things like that. We also have friends over. Um, I just, I just love Trader Joe's. So um, thanks for stopping by, and I will see you guys next week. And I'll I might pop into a couple other stores this week. Who knows? Who knows? But I'll see you guys. Bye.